Hello and welcome back to the channel. July is a wonderful month for the gardener. The evenings are long, so you get much more time outside. The mornings are warm, and you usually get a good few weeks of sun, which will more than make up for any cloudy or rainy weeks we've had. This is the month where plants really take off, and that also brings with it lots for us to do. In this video, I'm going to show you what can be done in the garden in the month of July. Lettuce, perpetual spinach, salad leaves and pak choy can all be sown this month in pots, trays or hanging baskets. They would also be happy grown on a sunny windowsill. Try to sow every few weeks for a continuous supply. If you're quick, you still have time to sow beetroot directly in the ground, and some faster maturing carrot varieties can also still be sown directly too. Peas, French beans and runner beans can also be sown directly, and they'll be ready before the frosts arrive. Give them a cane or two for support, and tie them in as they grow if you need to. Sow turnips and radishes, and be careful not to let the seedlings dry out. These roots have very shallow roots, so they're much more likely to struggle on hot days. Swiss chard is also a good idea if you're enjoying their tasty leaves. They're frost hardy too, and will last you well into winter. If you've been following these videos, you should have some autumn and winter veg seedlings ready to go into the ground. These would be broccoli, cauliflower, kale and brussels sprouts. You can also transplant your leeks when they're about this size. Make sure you water newly transplanted crops well, if they're going to die it'll be in the first week after they go into the ground. They've been in a pot for a while too and would thank you for some liquid feed. If your garlic stalks are laying on the surface like this then they're ready to harvest. Pull them out of the ground and dry them outside for a week or two. Then cut the stalks off and store them in a cupboard. Keep a couple of bulbs to one side for replanting in the autumn. Your onions and shallots may also be ready. Do the same as the garlic, pull them out of the ground and dry them ready for storing. Harvest your berries and fruits which are ready, as this will encourage the plant to develop new fruits. You may be lucky and have some ripening tomatoes this month too. Pick them when they're ready so the plant can put its energy into the smaller fruits. If your potato plants are flowering, it's likely that they're ready to come up. Pull one out of the ground and check the size of the potatoes. If they're tiny, leave the rest for another week or two. Consider getting some drip feeders for your pots and hanging baskets. Fill with water and add a little liquid feed. The slow release encourages the soil to soak up the water, rather than it just flowing off the surface. I've been using them in anything which dries out quickly. And continue to liquid feed all flowering and fruiting plants this month, at least once a week. Aphids are still out in full force, and so are carrot fly, if you're sowing carrots later in the year. These will suck the life out of your plants given half a chance, and are best managed early. Check on your compost bin every week, and make sure the compost stays moist and turn it every few days if you're able to. Once it's ready, use it for pots or mulch your plants so you can start to fill the bin back up again. Continue to deadhead your flowers as they die back. It'll keep them looking neat, and will prolong the season. Keep your ponds clear of weeds, and keep bird baths clean and topped up. And that's a quick look at what you can look forward to in July. I've added some links in the description, and some useful sources and further reading on how you can keep busy this month. Do like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and thank you to my patrons for supporting the channel. If you want to get involved, a link is down in the description. If you have any questions about gardening this month, pop them in the comments and the community will help if it can. Thank you all, have a wonderful July, and happy growing!